found these next set of creepy clips over on TikTok, uploaded by Tasha Daz. Tasha claims her house is haunted and has uploaded several videos of strange things happening around her supposedly haunted home. It all started after Tasha and her husband moved into an old farmhouse. Objects began moving on their own, doors would close by themselves, and strange knocks could be heard around her property. At first, Tasha just ignored it, but the activity became so frequent that she began to document it, and this is what she caught. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor, and it just... Every single morning, things are on the floor. Every single morning. So I'm gonna hook up my computer and see if I catch anything tonight. Maybe it's just rodents, but we're gonna find out. Look at them, destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. can be seen opening before slamming shut, mysteriously, all on its own. An eagle-eyed viewer pointed out that something can be seen at the bottom section of the door as it swung open, but what is it? Then, at 2.53 in the morning, Tasha's doorbell cam is triggered by something, and the sounds of footsteps in the snow can be heard. Now bear in mind, Tasha's farmhouse is located miles out in the middle of nowhere, so who could be wandering around outside? On another night, Tasha is awoken to the sound of tapping coming from the roof of her home which apparently her family slept right through. Tasha keeps finding books on the kitchen floor in the mornings, so decides to set up a camera to try and capture whatever keeps knocking them off. Shortly after 1am, the camera catches a random noise before the books topple over, and then a couple of hours later, they slide off onto the floor. Tasha films her dogs in the living room, and without Tasha realising, a shadow can be seen crawling up her wall. A few nights later, Tasha's doorbell camera films a mysterious shadow taking form before it quickly moves out of view of her doorbell camera. Tasha was understandably creeped out by all of this and wanted to get to the bottom of it, so she called in a team of paranormal investigators to investigate her house, and this is what they found. In the hall, In the hall. So that is where um, my dog gets scared. So, so, we're, 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 we're going to the hall. So here, you wanted us to come to the hall. You want to say hi? What, what the heck? Was that you? As the investigators are conducting a paranormal investigation inside Tasha's living room, the amount of orbs floating around is uncountable. Whatever is haunting Tasha's home then tells the investigators to move to the hall, and as they're standing there, a picture frame moves unnaturally before falling over, startling the investigators. They then make their way upstairs, and what happens next made her blood turn cold. So apparently it seems that they're very upset that you're changing the house. The house. So you think it will so, calm down when we're done, or...? Uh, if you can find peace with them... 
as Tasha and the investigators are on the upstairs landing, a ghostly apparition can be seen appearing at the bottom of the stairs. It quickly takes form before disappearing into thin air. Tasha's viewers were left stunned at the footage she'd captured, and many mentioned that she needs to get her house blessed. Several viewers forwarded her clips to psychic mediums, and Isabel Frank, a popular psychic medium and energy healer, made a video in response. Okay, so I had to watch this video multiple times. I was tagged in two different videos of yours and this is what I got right away I could feel the energy in through these videos so a lot of times through TikTok people have fake hauntings this is not fake um so I want to verify that for you or anyone else that watches that video it is heavy heavy energy these are not just one in energy this is multiple energy so there's about two to maybe three I say maybe three because one feels that it's not as strong as the other two presents in this household now they, they are not attached to your actual home they are attached to the property into the land so it could have been that they previously lived there when there was a previous home so i'm not sure if your home is a remodel or like there was another home or there could have been something on this land far before there was homes um, but either way, they're attached to the land and they're very bothered that you are there they're not angry they they are bothered and more frustrated that you are in their energy and in their space. So what do you think? Is Tasha's farmhouse haunted as both she, the two paranormal investigators who investigated her home, and Isabel Frank, the psychic medium, claim? You tell me. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. This next ghost video comes from the YouTube channel Analog Heaven. The video was uploaded back in July 2012 and is apparently proof of the supernatural. The uploader claims that the following video was sent to them by a person who had been hearing their piano playing mysteriously all by itself. The unknown person decided to set up a camera pointing at their piano to try and get to the bottom of this strange occurrence and this is what they caught. The piano lifts open and starts to play somehow all on its own. And if you look closely, what looks like an apparition can be seen on camera, as if it's playing the piano. Now I have no idea if this video is real, but the uploader and their viewers seem to believe it is. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera as the uploader and their viewers claim? The next ghost video comes from one of my favourite ghost hunting channels, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. The ghost hunters uploaded this creepy video at the beginning of December when they visited the Viaduct Tavern to conduct a paranormal investigation. The Viaduct Tavern was built in the mid 1800s, directly opposite a prison built all the way back in the early 1200th century. There have been numerous reports of paranormal activity at the Viaduct Tavern, which were reported by several of the owners dozens of staff and guests to the Viaduct Tavern over the years. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations set up their equipment, including static cameras on each floor pointing down the hallways, and within minutes, things start to get creepy. We've got a motion detector at the door there. If it picks up any movement, the light will come on. So can I speak to whoever it was that's here that levitated the carpet off the floor. Hello? Is there someone up there? There was like, I, I don't know what it was. Some sort of noise from on the stairwell or further up the stairs. F did you hear that? 
It was like a door moved. Hello? The sound of a door moves from somewhere nearby. Here is the enhanced audio taken from Static Cam 3 covering the hallway. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you walking. There was a few footsteps on the floor above us. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the fourth floor. Hey, please come through. There you go. That's what I was hearing Shh. downstairs. Okay, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. Jesus! Hey there! There was someone that stood by me. Okay. There was so much stood right by me then. Oh, I don't know. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. There. Okay. I was stood here. No. Okay. okay. It was there. Perhaps you can answer a question for us. Are these actual cells that were used in the Giltspur Street Compter? If you've been wrongly accused, can you speak into the red light and tell us what you want to say?
If I knew your full name, I could look in the newspapers, the old newspapers, and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need from you, is your surname. So if I hold this out... Guys? Yeah? Yeah. What have you called? Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. Something went across that window. Kate? As the team are alone in the tavern, the door on the third floor mysteriously opens and closes by itself. Then the sound of knocking and footsteps can be heard walking on the wooden floorboards on an upper floor. The team then make their way to the top floor of the haunted tavern, where supposedly the landlady's daughter witnessed paranormal activity. Phil decides to call out, and then suddenly Mark becomes startled by a figure standing right by him. And in the moment when Mark jumps away, he managed to capture the face of whatever was standing right by him. Captured on Mark's night vision camera, a distorted face of someone or something can be seen for a split second, but the question is, is, who is it? Then, as the ghost hunters are down in the basement, loud footsteps can be heard walking quickly on the floorboards above them, and their motion detector placed upstairs triggers by something we can't see. The team then move back upstairs and ask a series of questions, and then captured on Jeff's camera, a mysterious black shadowy figure can be seen quickly passing in front of a window, not once, but twice. At first, it moves from right to left before moving back the opposite way. So, did Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations capture real paranormal activity at this haunted tavern? You tell me. The next creepy clip was uploaded to YouTube by John, the paranormal guy. Visited an old cemetery located somewhere in San Antonio. The graveyard was built in the mid 1800s and is estimated to house around 4,000 graves. John and his two friends explore the cemetery late at night and capture this on camera. Unaware at the time, John films what appears to be a shadowy figure lurking in the graveyard. The shadowy figure can be seen for a brief moment, but when John's infrared light hits it, it appears to vanish out of sight. So what do you think? Could this be a ghost caught on camera or something else? This next creepy clip was uploaded to YouTube by Lupus Gamer. Joes are attempting the mythical Baby Blue challenge. Baby Blue is an urban legend similar to the myth of Bloody Mary. The ritual goes like this. You stand in the bathroom on your own with the lights off and the door locked. Then you stare into the mirror while holding your arms out like you're rocking a baby whilst repeating the words Baby Blue, Blue Baby 13 times. If you perform the ritual without any mistakes, they say an evil entity will appear. Now I have no idea if this actually works as I daren't try it myself but loop his gamer does attempt the ritual and it turned out to be a very bad idea baby blue blue baby baby blue blue baby baby blue blue baby baby blue blue baby baby blue Baby blue, blue baby, baby blue, 
Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby Blue, Blue Baby, Baby, baby blue, blue baby, baby blue, blue baby, baby blue. ¿Qué pasó, Regina? ¿Ya le hiciste? Ya terminé. Uh -huh. Regina, no puedo mover los brazos. De un tíralo rápido. No puedo, Regina. Rápido, tíralo de mochila, no se va a perder. Regina, no. Debo tirar, tíralo. 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 Regina, me está dando mucho no, que me salga brazo, Regina. Tíralo, tíralo. Te lo juro, me salga. Tira, me está saliendo el brazo. ¡Regina! ¡No! ¡Tíralo! ¡No! ¡Tíralo! ¡Para afuera, la vamos! ¡No sé! ¡Al baño, rápido! Loopy's gamer is performing the ritual, someone or something can be seen peering in through the window behind her face, eerily stares in before ducking out of sight. Loopy's gamer then starts yelling as if she's possessed by something, then she feels pain in her arms. Loopy's gamer claims this video is 100% real and her viewers believe it is too, but what do you think? Did Loopy's gamer summon the evil entity by performing the baby blue challenge? This next short but mysterious video went viral on TikTok a couple of months back. It was uploaded to the TikTok account Civilizations Forgotten. Without giving too much of the video away, the video shows a tour guide giving a demonstration outside an old Mayan temple when something rather mysterious happens. Please join me to the front of the steps. And when the sound of the clapping touches the steps according to the speed of the sound, that frequency, it will travel in the chamber. Yeah. But when it comes out, it will be equal to the song of a bird. <laughs> and we still don't know how to do that or how to do that, and we say we have. Dude, are you kidding me? Um, that's shocking. And the sound of the temple and the bird is already in computers and sonograms to check the frequencies and the two of them, they're equal. The tour guide claps his hands and the sound of a bird echoes out of the ancient temple, which bear in mind was built thousands of years ago. Commenters on this video were quick to point out that the sound is of that of a spiritual bird known as the Quetzal and that the Mayans built the temple this way so they could communicate with friends or family. Now I don't know about you, but this video does make you think just how advanced and intelligent were ancient civilizations. The next ghost video comes from the popular ghost hunting channel, Twin Paranormal. Twin Paranormal visit the old territorial enterprise located in Virginia City and is said to be incredibly haunted. The old building is home to many artifacts and relics, which the owners and staff believe are cursed. Native American remains have been discovered buried under the property and even a real mummified body was found behind a wall in the basement, the actual body still preserved. Their identities and cause of death remain unknown. The old territorial Enterprise was originally founded and was a local newspaper back in 1863. Just 12 years later, the building suffered a catastrophic fire and burned to the ground. Everything was lost in the fire except the basement. Local rumours say that the reason behind the basement surviving the huge blaze was because of the cursed relics and the lost souls that are trapped down there. The twin paranormal team conduct their investigation inside the old building in an attempt to communicate with the spirits of these people and this is what they caught. Someone's knocking on this door. Did you just hear that? Someone was knocking on that door right there. It just got so intense up here, boys. What happened, Wyatt? I was literally standing there staring at the ball, and I heard what 
that. Oh, you hear that creaking? Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard the stairs creaking, and I swear to God, it was like... <gasps> is that you? The I... man that everyone says is up here? <sighs> Who whispered to me? I heard you right here, right down here. Something, something just got thrown. Dude, it was literally, it sounded like, what are you doing up there? Or like, you shouldn't be up there. Something bit like that. Oh, no. Literally clear. I was pointed right here by the ball, but I heard it, like, right there. We've heard so many stories about you. We want to see you. Join us. Oh, my gosh. No. We're not gonna. You be careful leaning up against that railing. I'm gonna try something, guys. I'm gonna go sit right there on that fifth step. Mm -hmm. And I wanna see if it, like I feel different. You want me to film? If you can. Yeah. I'm gonna sit right here on this fifth step. Oh, no, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> the step that everyone says they start to feel weird on. The step that everyone says they start to feel weird on. Twin paranormal team hear movement on the stairs. Then, captured on the team's static camera upstairs, the light in the room where the camera is filming all of a sudden goes out. And then a black shadow quickly moves across the screen from left to right at rapid speed. At the time of recording, none of the twin paranormal noticed the light go out or the dark shadow. But when they watched the footage back, they were understandably shocked at this footage. So did twin paranormal capture paranormal activity inside the old territorial enterprise building? You tell me. I found this next ghost video over on Reddit. It was shared a couple of years ago, however, I haven't seen it posted anywhere recently. Video clip is apparently a Snapchat footage of a ghost child when the original uploader's friends explore their childhood school. Now, before I roll the clip, I must point out that the cuts in the video are part of the original upload. Here's the clip. You miss Peggy? Fucking Peggy? Oh, damn, that went out. No, that's that's like a fucking young person. I mean, after all, it is quarantine. Like, <gasps> we're getting the f out of here right now. I'm dead serious. This is freaking me the f out. That doesn't look right in front of my f lens. Is that thing, dude? dude, I'm actually f freaking out. Dude, f it. I'm gonna. Dude, it, it gets more. Dude, that thing looks like it's looking right at us like this. Like this. Look at it. What the? Every time I move closer, it looks more and more like a figurine. I did not see that when we passed. What the f? What the f? Dude, okay. You know, yeah. This. The street lights all of a sudden go out, and the sound of a child is then heard. The pair then attempt to leave, but as they look over a fence, a shadowy figure, shaped as a child, can be seen standing motionless watching the two teenagers. They then make their way out, but notice the child sized shadow has followed them. Now, I have no idea if this video is real or not, but like this guy says, staged or not, it's still creepy. The next scary ghost video comes from the Japanese ghost hunter channel, the Magatoki Film, where they conduct a paranormal investigation late at night inside an abandoned hospital. The pair explore the abandoned hospital where they hear creepy noises and bangs. However, later in the video, they capture this on camera.
は何か分からんな分かんないうんとりあえず問題の場所へちょっと一度行きますかうわいやもうそのままやんここじゃないちょっと待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待すいませんうわ何うわ生活臭っていうかさこう,う人の匂いしないこの部屋をなんだこの何とも言えないなわかるかなこのすごい生活臭人が人,人臭いというかなんかそのここに住んでてもおかしくないおかしいよこの部屋はうわハトの分すげえな何それえこれカーテンでしょシーツじゃないの見て見て見て見てえウェディングドレスそうそうそうフリルみたいなシーツではないのにこういうフリルみたいなえウェディングドレスだよねだとビリビリやんいや、そもそもさ、うん、なんでこんなとこに<笑>ちょっと待ってパリンパリンって言ったよね部屋の中でガラスの音だよねちょっと待ってあのさガラス風の音がさ風とか物音でするわけないじゃんだってそれらしいもんがないじゃんないよ、ね、何も普通振動シンプルじゃないうん二人映ってるよね、多分、うん、しかもこんなめっちゃたくさんさ<笑>ばらまかれてるってこれ配ってないってことでしょ配られてないってことはまああげてないあげなかったってことだよね式は予定だけだったっていう,う準備はここまでしたけどうんっていうかこれ隣にあるこれね注射針じゃない全部いや触らほうがいいって刺さるよあまあ未使用だとは思うけど、うんここについてるえうわちょっと待って待って待って待って今そこにそこそこベランダベランダベランダ人人いた人人人人人人人人,人立ってるちょっと待って待って待って待って、うん、人人立って人がいたって今<音声> Sound of a woman can be heard very faintly in the abandoned hospital. Then, a shadowy figure can be seen on the opposite balcony, staring this way. But when the camera pans back, the shadowy figure is no longer there. They then stumble across some old photographs, which are blurred due to Japan's strict censorship laws. However, the sound comes from outside, and when the camera pans up, the figure can be seen just standing there in the darkness. The pair jump back in fear, and when they look back, Figure has mysteriously disappeared. So, did a Magatoki film capture a ghost on camera, or is it all fake? Tell me what you think in the comments below. The next scary video was captured by a man named Ruben Alanis. Ruben's home is apparently haunted by a dark entity and has previously shown footage of the terror that he had witnessed. I featured the clip of Ruben's terrifying encounter with the dark entity in a previous episode a few months back, and if you haven't already seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out. In this clip you're about to see, Ruben mentions he's returned to the room where he saw the dark entity, that he kept the door to the room locked shut. However, late one night, while Ruben's family were asleep, Ruben began hearing strange noises. Coming from the room, he didn't dare to enter. Son las tres de la mañana y escuché un ruido. Vine a la cocina y escuché un ruido en el cuarto de la niña. De hecho, ya había grabado como algo en, en la cuna, como una 
una mujer de cabellera negra larga y entonces ahorita curiosamente escuché como un lamento creí que eran mis nervios creí que era parte de de no sé algo exterior algo eh, fuera de la casa pero claramente ahorita que fui a tomar agua eh, volví a escuchar un lamento voy con una linterna porque no quiero que nadie se, se despierte y se preocupe de hecho ya mi niña ya no duerme aquí por lo mismo decidí eh, jamás volverla a traer para acá hasta que las cosas se calmaran y parece que continúan y esto se vuelve cada vez peor eh, como que alcancé a escuchar algo ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? Aléjate. Aléjate. ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? ¿Qué quieres? Los perros ya están. Los perros están nerviosos también. A figure with long dark hair can be seen staring directly at Reuben from inside his closet. The figure makes eerie sounds before it slowly moves out of sight. Reuben approaches with caution, but the figure is nowhere to be seen. So, did Reuben Alanis capture the dark entity that supposedly haunts his home on camera? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. This next video comes from TikTok user Dino Nuggets 741 and is pretty creepy. I featured Dino Nuggets a couple of times before and those clips were really creepy. However, in these set of clips that I put together, Dino Nuggets encounters something even more terrifying inside its haunted home. I'm leaving the house, man. You're done. Catch me if you can. I'm leaving, man. Have it out now. What the f do you want? Thank <laughs> you. 
Nuggets hears a glass breakdown in the basement and decides to head down to investigate. He tries to flip the light on, but it doesn't work. Then the sound of glass breaking can be heard again. The lights still don't work, but Dino Nuggets gathers the courage to take a look. He checks out the basement, but no one's there. However, objects are thrown at him and he flees the basement. He checks his footage back and what he found made his blood turn cold. While he was down in the basement, a mysterious dark shadowy figure was caught on camera. At the time of the recording, the dark shadowy figure was nowhere to be seen and it was only after Dino Nuggets enhanced this image did he realise what he had caught. This next clip shows Dino Nuggets relaxing in his living room when he's disturbed by bangs and the sound of running water coming from his bathroom. water bills 600 bucks a month standing right here. I don't know what you want me to do, bro. See, nothing in here, man. Dino Nuggets is looking around his bathroom, tap mysteriously turns on behind him. But when he's turning it off, if you look in the mirror, a shadowy figure can be seen moving quickly in the mirror. Dino Nuggets then scopes out the rest of his house, but finds no one. And in this next clip, Dino Nuggets is awoken by loud bangs coming from his basement again. <sighs> again. Hello? No! Hello? Dino Nuggets approaches his basement with caution when all of a sudden his light goes out. He backs out of going downstairs and instead decides to return to where he was resting. However, when he peeks around the corner, a creepy dark figure can be seen just standing there in his living room. So what do you think? Is Dino Nuggets' his home really haunted or is it all just for views? Let me know what you think. This scary video has been shared before. The video you're about to see was live streamed on the Chinese Ghost Hunter channel Supernatural a couple of years ago, and Supernatural explores an abandoned school late at night, and what she captured on camera terrified her viewers. <laughs> Oh, my God.
不行，我不能操你大爷！你妈了个逼的！我都这么骂你了，你还不出来啊？你就这么没尊严吗？啊？你就这么没尊严吗？啊？你活着没尊严，你他妈你死了以后，你一点没有尊严，你知道不？你跟个二逼似的，你知道吗？你像个二逼。这上头可模糊了。在向我赔礼道歉吗？但是我给他贴上福了呀！我把书贴上去，他应该……你他妈，你动一下！你往我前面来一步，或者往后退一下，或者你跪地求饶！A pair of glowing eyes can be seen in the room at the end of the corridor. Supernatural doesn't notice it and continues provoking the evil that supposedly resides in the school. Then, out of nowhere, she is pulled backwards down the hallway. Supernatural tries to leave the school. However, as she's making her way out, a dark figure with a pale face can be seen standing at the end one of the school corridors. It stands motionless for a few seconds before dropping to the floor. Now, I have no idea if this video is real or not. So, as always, it's your call. This next creepy video has been shared before. However, I thought I'd include it for those of you who haven't seen it yet. The video you're about to see comes from the Thai YouTube channel Haunted Before Bed and shows some rather creepy footage caught on a home security cameras.
can be seen in a day state. He walks over to his sleeping friend and stands over him, eerily just staring at him while he sleeps. Then, later in the video, the man can be seen sitting up in bed before turning around, bizarrely. The man can then be seen sleepwalking into the dining room and then out of nowhere, he raises his arm and it stretches towards a bottle before retracting back to its normal length. Then the man gets back into bed and an arm can be seen reaching up towards his friend from under the bed. But whose is it? Now, I am in no way saying that this video is real as, well, it probably isn't. But nonetheless, it's definitely super creepy. The final scary video for today comes from the popular ghost hunting channel Mindseed TV where they venture out to an area in southern Florida known as the Devil's Tree. Apparently, several years ago, dozens of female bodies were found at the Devil's Tree which were linked to Florida's first serial killer and the tree is frequently worshipped by Satanists. Casey and Colton from the Mindseed TV channel make their way to the Devil's Tree where they conduct a Ouija board session and ask a series of questions. However, as they're communicating through the Ouija board, someone or something can be seen lurking in the darkness. Look past it yet. Yeah. It looks like it from the pictures. What? What is it? We got closer to the tree and it looked like somebody had attached like a little bit of women's hair on the side of the tree. I mean, even if someone just did that like around, it's just weird. It's like, I don't know. Well, it's they like say Native that, American. They say that people do rituals and shit out here, man. Yeah. That's the whole reason they wanted us to come check it. Knowing that people still go here to practice rituals, uh, that was a little bit weird to stumble across. Ready? One, two. Three. You said that if we used the Ouija board, you would give us some kind of communication. Can you give us a sign? What was that? Really? Dude. What was that? It just, it just gave us a number that called us rude. I think we should go to goodbye. Is there any other message you would like to give us before we go? This is your last opportunity. Wait, 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 no, 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 stop it, stop it. It's, it's, it's trying to go off the board. Go back, go to goodbye. It was trying to move it off the board, dude. That's not good. I've never had that happen, but that's not good, I'm pretty sure. It was going towards the tree, though. It felt like it was trying to pull itself off of the board, and we kind of took that as a bad sign and it had also just spelled out the word rude, as if it was calling us rude. So we decided to say goodbye. We know what can happen if you don't close it out properly, so we wanted to make sure that we closed it out the way that we're supposed to, and it was starting to get really dark. We wanted to find our way out of the woods, so we decided to pack up our stuff and leave. However, we knew that we captured a lot of evidence in the few tests that we did run, but we had no idea what the camera had captured when we were setting up at the tree. Go to the other side. Whoever just lit that up green, are you the spirit of? Both of us, I'm sure he sat with it a lot longer than I did, but I felt like all we did for one hour was just rewind, 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 and try to make sense of this six to eight second clip that we captured. Go to the other side. Whoever just lit that up green, are you the spirit of... Whoever just lit that up green, are you the spirit of... I have watched this footage at least a hundred times now. I don't know what it is that was back in the woods. I have no idea.
aware to both Casey and Colton at the time of recording, a pair of glowing eyes can be seen appearing in the darkness behind them. The glowing eyes appear quickly before ducking even quicker out of sight. After watching the footage over a hundred times, the Mind CTV team still have no idea what this is. But many viewers voiced their opinions on what this could be in the comments section of the video. And one of the top comments was from someone claiming to be a quote, professional wildlife photographer who studies animal behavior. And they said, quote, it doesn't look like any animal eyes I've seen through my travels. And I do believe what you captured was paranormal, end quote. But what do you think? Did Casey and Colton film something paranormal at the devil's tree? final video in this episode comes from the YouTube channel True Horror Stories POV and it's absolutely terrifying. The video you're about to see is not real, however it is based on a true story and performed by actors. The video shows a group of friends doing their laundry with buckets of water in the communal bathroom. One of the sinks is out of order so one of the friends named Adel uses his friend's water and chooses to do his laundry in one of the toilet cubicles. This is where things get scary. Hey! Come on, come on! Win! Hey, Rabat, what's up? Don't touch me! You bastard, bodo! Hey, hey! Someone inside! Come inside. Hey, ni lah lock button. Hal siap nak main pakai bulu. Oi! What you want? Tissue, tissue. Alamak, say lah you want tissue. You knock so hard for what? Eh, hey, return back ah. Here got no more tissue now. Ketuk macam ni kan? Hey! My tissue! Hey, never return back! Ah. Alamak, never return my tissue! Ah. Sial lah! Tissue muka return. Eh, what you want? Soap. Soap. Alamak. Eh, masih tu nak? You guys cannot talk meh. Talk lah, say one soap. Ay. What now? Brush. Wait. Eh, hey, masih turn back ah. I still want to use no. Just now kau mangga take the tissue roll never return. Oi. After finish return no. You hear not? Oi. Ah. Bro. You dare not? 
Eh, hari ni main peras leh. toilet cubicles, someone in boots can be seen stood at the door to the cubicle he's in. They then move into the cubicle next to him and ask for some tissue. Whoever it was can then be heard leaving the bathroom. However, a hand then appears under the cubicle wall and someone asks Adil for some soap and a brush. However, when Adil asks for it back, no one responds to him. So he looks under the cubicle wall and sees a pair of feet dangling in the air. Freaked out by this, he looks away. Then a creepy sound is heard behind him and when he looks round, a horrifying figure can be seen standing right behind him. He tries to flee the cubicle, but he's trapped. He then turns around, and the creepy looking figure can be seen again behind him, this time on top of the cubicle wall. Adol looks away and then looks back. The figure has vanished. Creepy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.